Hi, Nancy Burr, Priest here. I'm an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. Here's my email, my website, my March host code. Here's my Facebook business page. If you're not a member, please join. Every other week we have fun contests and I give out free product. And I'm very close to a 1,000 subscribers on my YouTube channel. So if you haven't subscribed, please like, subscribe, and watch to the end. So what are we doing today? We are making a waterfall card. I am excited about this one. This is my first one, so you can see I got it over just a smidge, but I'm really okay with that. So what you do is you pull this. Isn't that the most fun thing? Um, I really had fun. Um, so if you want to take a screenshot, there are the measurements. Um, I didn't put card base, you score it at four and a quarter. Um, the DSP, the two by nine piece, how you score it. Um, I did the same color for the cardstock. Four mossy mellow pieces, two by two, and four white. So I'll kind of leave that to the side so you can hopefully keep looking at that. I'm using two stamp sets. I'm using the Happy Birthday from Inked and Tiled. And I'm looking, using the Gone Fishing um, stamp set. I'll move, oops, trying to get this so it's all on the camera here. Um, I am using the Let's Go Fishing DSP for this background here. I am using the ink colors of Pecan Pie, Calypso Coral, Boho Blue, Basic Black. And I am also using the brush metal metallic adhesive dots. Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create this card. Um, it is not hard at all. So I'm going to put my, I did pre-stamp because I, I figured you didn't need to see all the stamping. This one is fun. If you line the color up with a little fin, it fits really well. Um, and so I have those already pre-stamped. I have my uh, Mossy Meadow card base. And I have, uh, what else do I need? Oh, yes. I need this piece. I already put a little hole in it with a, a retired punch. Um, and it is two by nine. I scored it at four and three quarter, five and a half, six and a quarter, and seven. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to adhere this to the card base. This, you don't do anything with the DSP. Um, you just adhere it. It's a four by five and a quarter piece of the DSP. So nothing too exciting there. Um, the excitement comes later. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, you can fold this in like that um, and it's actually going to go like this it, it seems strange but it all works um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my other strip which I might not have cut which is four inches by three um, it is a four inch piece by three quarter well here we go I will do that right here off camera because um, I have my cutting uh, my cutting right to the side here okay I'm gonna move it up a little bit this is my first one so I'm still learning what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take some tear and tape and I'm gonna put it so I leave um, two inches in the middle so I'm going to just put it a little bit on this side. So I make sure and leave two inches in the middle for my me mechanism to go. Just kind of making sure. See what I'm gonna have to do is take a little of this up. Just a little, I'll just push it up a little bit, make sure I still have two inches in the middle, okay, 
I still don't have it exactly in the middle, do I? It's harder to do on camera than you think. Um, in person, it's a little easier, but I wanna make sure that that is up a little bit. So when I pull it up, okay. Uh, and for my classes, I might have this pre-done. Um, so it'll be easier for you to see where you need to. Um, I might just have the tear and tape already on there and all you have to do is pull it up. But if I was smart, I would have done this in the beginning and put the tear and tape on like this. But you know how that goes. Okay, so now I have the tear and tape on. Um, in a little tip, if you really push it down, it actually comes up easier, believe it or not. Doesn't seem right, but it does. You can use your take your pick tool. If you don't have one, you need one. Um, it's all these sort of things. Push it down, push it down, push it down. It comes right up. And if you have extra tear and tape, I just push it over. Um, you can see I'm making sure I'm on camera. Sometimes I get excited and I go off camera. Um, okay, now I'm going to put this up just a smidge higher than I did last time. Not a lot, but just a smidge. You know, that's an official term. You notice I only have tear and tape on the outsides. Push them down because I'm going to want this to slide in here. Now, she did it a little different. She, um, what she was doing is she was um, tying that, and I could do that first. Uh, making sure... All right, so now I'm going to get a little bit of this pecan pie ribbon. Just cut a little teeny bit. And I'll trim it later, that's okay. And I'm going to, because that's gonna be like this. So I'm going to, I always have to think it's upside down. I hope I didn't do something wrong. Did you look? This seems longer than that one. Doesn't it? Maybe it does go this way. <gasps> I'm going to do it over. You know what I did? Now it makes sense. Sorry, guys. Don't put the hole on the side with the score lines. The hole goes there. No wonder. Well, we get to see how I score it. Isn't that exciting? You know, I wasn't going to do it on camera, but now I have no choice. This is my old Stampin' Up. I'm moving everything around here. And I'm going to score it at four and three quarter. And five and a half. And six and a quarter. And seven. Now, I'm going to tell you, put the hole on that side. This is an old retired punch, um, but I like because it's a big hole. Um, and there are some new ones. I don't maybe own them, but there are some new ones. So I put the hole and that'll make our life so much easier. Okay, I'm bringing this back. I'm gonna do that. This makes more sense to me now. She actually tied the ribbon before she put it in, but I'm gonna tie the ribbon after, and I hope I don't regret that, but we'll find out. Um, now, I, she was trying to put tear and tape up here to make sure it would stay. I didn't do it that way. I put my tear and tape right here so I knew where to put it. Just put a couple pieces there. Luckily, if you get a, cl um, a class from me, I'll already have the holes punched, hopefully in the right place, um, so that you don't have to worry about that. Now, once again, I'm pushing it down. Taking it up with my take your pick tool, lining it up. It looks pretty, it's much better in the middle, this one. Second one's always better, you know? All right, I'm just going to wait to have that 
goes straight down. Now I'm gonna move when I, oh, maybe that's why she had you tie it first. Yeah, because now you can't really pull it, but I'm gonna pull it like this. Look at that! Is that exciting or what? Okay, I'm gonna leave it out and I'm going to tie the ribbon. I'm gonna put it through the hole doing that on camera, very exciting. And then I'm gonna come up. So if you like this kind of look, you put it through the hole. If you, I'm gonna do one of each so people have choices. I'm going to do this one coming up through the hole and then you just loop it through. I'm like all thumbs on camera today. I just got back from on stage a couple of days ago, so I'm all like hyped and excited. Um, if you haven't thought about being a demonstrator, you should because it's so much fun. Um, and you can just be a hobby. You don't have to do classes or anything, but it is just a wonderful experience. Okay, now she's got, now I'm cooking. So when you pull it, is that the coolest thing you ever saw? It's so easy but it's really fun. And mine is just, no, I guess it's better now that it's it's uh, right there. So I'm going to put them in order. I wanted it to be the lure, the fish, the fish getting the hook, and then the happy birthday. So I'm going to put adhesive, make sure I know which one's the top, on the top only, only on the top. And um, I'm going to actually start with the bottom one. I'm going to go backwards. And I'm going to go right underneath that line. Then I'm going to go, this one is next. I'm going backwards. Underneath the score line. Then I'm gonna go this one next. If you go the back, I mean, you can go the other way, but backwards seems, I don't know, that's just how I do it. Um, go this way. And the final one is here. So now, is that the coolest thing you ever saw or what? I love it. I personally love it. I think it's just a really fun card. Um, and then I'm going to just put a couple of... One person said to me, I don't make fancy cards for guys. And I don't usually either, but I figure a kid would like it. And you know what? My husband thought it was a really cool card. So you just never know. And there's one thing I did wrong. Anybody... <laughs> Boy, it's a good thing you keep watching me. What have you noticed about this card I'm going to show you what I did wrong, and I'm going to keep it. I didn't mount these on the green pieces. So, I may go back and remount them. The bottom one doesn't matter, but these do. <laughs> but you know what? It still works. So, if you ever forget that, it's not a problem. Just see, that's the beauty of stamping. You just get creative with it. So, I hope I haven't confused you too much that it makes sense how to make this waterfall card. Um, if you come to my class, I will probably take these off and remount them so it won't be so confusing. Um, but the tips, are it's not a hard card to make. I will have all the scoring and the holes hopefully in the right place. And um, I hope that you have a great day. If you are not coming to a class, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Have a great day.